Hello everyone, welcome to your first video in the series of videos on Swarm Simulator Swim. Swim is a tool developed 100% in Java using the open source game development engine called JMonkey with its underlying physics engine called JBullet. Swim is for researchers, engineers, developers and others who would like to run underwater swarm simulations. It was first developed as part of my PhD research when I was developing algorithms for underwater target search and task allocation. It is being actively developed and features are being continuously added. Today I'm going to introduce you to some of the basic features of the simulator. In later videos we are going to talk more about the um, details of adding your own algorithms and integrating them with SWIM. So let's get started. You can use the keyboard keys, the WASP keys, WASD, to move forward, backward, left, right. You can also use the Q key to go up and the Z key to go down. What you see right now is what's called the uh, Complex Water Effects Platform. It's one of three platforms that are provided by default in SWIM. We're going to see the other pla uh, platforms soon. You can also use your mouse by holding the left button and you can change the direction of the camera and you can use this in combination with the keyboard so for, for example now I can go underwater and see the effects that are under under the, the surface of the water you can observe for example your uh, AUVs, the autonomous underwater vehicles while they are executing an algorithm there are two panels in the simulator as you can see the one on the right is called the options panel and the one on the left is called the simulation pal uh, panel today we are going to talk about the options panel the first option is still under development and it's basically concerned with showing the debug path whenever in an AUV uh, travels it can plot the debug path and you can see its um, uh, traverse path over the time um, this, uh, this is not completely functional yet so we're gonna skip it uh, the second option is called the physics debug and this allows you to toggle uh, the um, uh, grid for uh, physics uh, for the physics world and this shows grids for all physics objects in this case it's the terrain and uh, the ship this allows you to make sure that physics interactions are taking place properly like collisions you can also show and hide the coordinates in this case we can only see the y-axis which is pointing up upwards because the water hides the two other axes but in the simple platform the other two axes are visible we have daylight mode and night mode and we have the bird's eye view and the tilted view the bird's eye view is very helpful and I found it tremendously very uh, useful uh, when uh, I was doing research and I wanted to take snapshots for um, the algorithms while they are running and showing the paths of different vehicles. We have been looking so far at the complex water effects platform as I mentioned and there are two more. The simple platform which as you can see is a flatbed where you can run simple simulations that don't require obstacle avoidance and peaky terrains in general. The third one is called the LSM based water which stands for lattice sp uh, spring model um, and we use this uh, mathematical model to uh, model the, uh, the water. In this case water is represented as particles. You have full control uh, over the number of particles uh, and the, the distances between them and also the strength of the wave. In this case it's, it's a very strong wave but you can control this easily in the simulator. Now if we switch back to the complex water effects mode you will notice that we have another menu. This menu allows you to select different terrains. So these terrains uh, I created them using the JMonkey engine scene editor which is a very intuitive easy to use uh, user uh, interface for creating terrains visually and uh, editing them. So for example if somebody wants to run an obstacle avoidance algorithm they can select these obstacles and make sure that the algorithm is running properly. We have other uh, terrains as you can see here. This one is a rocky terrain 
so if you go underwater you're gonna notice that it's uh, it has rocks so this concludes our first video and in the next video we are going to talk about the lift panel and that panel controls which algorithms you want to run whether you want to run a single or multiple algorithms which we call the integration mode um, it also allows you to run uh, general tests that you create if you want to for example uh, test specific uh, motions with a vehicle <coughs> excuse me uh, it also has a vehicle inspection mode this concludes our video so thank you very much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video